Hi, this is Goggin, and I'm doing another uh, review, and uh, today's review is on uh, a beverage uh, known as Zima. I want to give a big shout out to uh, uh, Hank, the angry drunken dwarf, for sending this to me for review. Thank you very much. I uh, really appreciate it. And... Uh, I haven't seen this stuff until uh, since the 1990s. Uh, it says here, uh, uh, it's a limited release. Uh, refresh a, a refreshing citrus beverage. Got a 5.0 alcohol by volume. Uh, see what else I can find on it. Malt beverage with natural flavor. And I found out, it don't say it, but I found out that this is made by the uh, Miller Coors uh, Brewing Company. Back in, I think, Zima, if I'm not mistaken, was introduced back in 1993. Uh, I, Zima stands out because I had a, a good friend of mine, uh, which was a, a lady friend, while we used to go out and party and, uh, back then and uh, uh, drink. And this is the only thing she ever drank was Zima. She just loved the stuff. And that's why it sticks out uh, in my mind. I don't know if they ever brought it back, but they brought it back, I believe, maybe this year because it's a limited release. And I haven't had it since 19, about 1993 when it came out. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to give it a review. Uh, like I say, it's made by the Miller Coors Brewing Company, and I don't know if it's here to stay or uh, here today and gone tomorrow. But it's got a clear color to it. It's just uh, completely clear. If I'm not mistaken, and I could be wrong, which I've been wrong uh, one time in my life. Uh, Y'all believe that, don't you? got some swamp land if, uh, if you do. Uh, I'll sell it to you real cheap down here in Texas, that is. Uh, it, like I said, the, the color of it is clear, and, and I, I believe in the 1990s somewhere, uh, they, they made a clear Pepsi. I remember, I distinctly remember that. That Pepsi came out with, with the cola, but it was completely clear. It had no, uh, color to it, and it was, uh, looked just like this. It was called a Pepsi Clear or something to that effect, but... Uh, getting off the subject, uh, what I'm going to do now is just uh, pop this open uh, with my uh, shout out to you, Big Reggie, for sending me this great opener. I use it for every one of my uh, uh, reviews where there's a bottle. I'm going to pop this bad boy open. And the unique thing about this, it catches the little cap. so And it doesn't tear it up, so it's all straight and everything. Just love it. Going to go ahead and uh, pour it in the glass, and we're just going to see uh, how this looks and everything, and we'll go from there. The head really dissipated like that of a, a cheap soda. Uh, it's got a lot of carbonation in it. I can tell because it just it still is carbonating, uh, clear. It's really uh, clear, and uh, let's see. I can smell the citrus. It's a faint smell of cit citrus, uh, uh, kind of like that of a lemon, orange, tangerine, maybe uh, a mixture of it. But it's not really a, a bold, uh, like bold smell. Uh, like I say, it still is carbonating, it still is uh, fizzing, and the head is gone. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste and uh, see what this is all about. quite refreshing. It's 
got a sweet taste, and the aftertaste is like that of a, a tangy, uh, maybe sour lime or lemon, or a tangy uh, citrus aftertaste, but it's a real pleasant after aftertaste. It's not bad at all. When you're drinking, it does have a, comp a carbonation burn. It's really good. Uh, can't really say anything bad about it. It's, it's similar to that of a wine cooler. If you have wine coolers, then this is uh, something what you would like if uh, you drink wine coolers. Me, I rarely drink wine coolers. Sometimes I do, uh, but it's very rare. Uh, mostly uh, drink uh, uh, beer, which is my favorite. Everybody knows Lone Star. But uh, really, really not a bad beverage. It really would be refreshing to uh, uh, kick back on the porch and uh, uh, pop one of these bad boys ball open and just sit back and enjoy uh, life. Really, really good and refreshing. Really nice taste. Uh, bold citrus mixture. Uh, it's hard to say. It's got like a lemon lime, tangerine, orange. It's just kind of everything uh, mixed there. I rate my uh, beers and uh, from uh, five being the highest to one being the lowest. And I'll tell you, I would have to give this one a five. I really would. I, I kind of like it. Yeah, I like it. It's uh, uh, refreshing and uh, just uh, really, really got a nice taste. I love the aftertaste. The aftertaste is like you get the sweetness, and then that there's that kind of sour citrus, the uh, a kick to it. Just really, really a, a, a fantastic uh, flavor to it. Uh, been a long time since I drank a Zima. And uh, I, this brings back a lot of a lot of fond memories and good memories. And uh, if you can get it uh, where you live, I suggest you get it, give it a try for yourself. Uh, I think if you like wine coolers, you'd be very pleased with this one. This is Scoggit. Appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. Want to give another shout out to you, Hank, the angry drunken dwarf, for sending this to me. Uh, this it was very uh, uh, kind of you to do so, and uh, I enjoy making these reviews and uh, uh, appreciate all you viewers and subscribers. Go get you a six pack of this and try it for yourself. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And y'all take care.